welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be looking how we can use schedule okay in order to do date and time validation so for an instance just consider an example okay that you have a use case that uh, for change request okay if a change request has a plan started in certain time frame then it should get assigned to a, a group and if it's outside that particular time frame then it should get assigned to b group okay now if you think from a wider perspective right this is not easily achievable using the glide date time api okay why because what you have to do on a daily basis it's a daily basis kind of thing okay on a daily basis you have to see uh, a time frame if certain thing is falling inside that time frame then it will get assigned to a group and if it's falling outside that time frame then it it will get assigned to b group okay now how we can achieve this it's buzzing your mind right okay so this kind of uh, problems okay can be resolved when it's when it's related to time frame it can be resolved by using schedule so everyone must be knowing about schedule right so schedule is something where you define certain time frame okay and you use that schedule in order to execute schedule job sls and, and a lot of things okay so let's focus on that today so for today use case our use case will be like on a change request there is a plan start date okay if a plan start date falls between certain time frame okay then it should get assigned to one group if it falls outside that time frame then it should get assigned to other group okay so for this first of all don't use glide date time api okay in this time first of all you have to create a schedule so so we'll go and create a schedule so under system scheduler okay there is a schedule under schedule there is a schedule and we will give it a name or uh, what we have to give mm. change schedule okay i will just copy this name out because i, I want to use this out for the time zone we will keep it floating okay, uh, or i will keep it my local time zone so that i can explain it out okay asia kolkata pant i don't want to give okay this is the for demo okay so i will save this out and now once the schedule get created we get this related list right so now we have to create a schedule entry for the same okay so we'll go new okay over here also i will give the same schedule you can create multiple schedule and it will check for because we'll be doing the validation on the parent schedule only type i don't think we should give anything it's not mandatory also busy and the thing now we'll put a use case that 9 to 3 okay let's take a uh, so it will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. right so 3 p.m. will be 15 right 15 and let's make it applicable from yeah so from 23rd I'll make this as so 23rd okay. so it's from 9 a.m. To 3 p.m. Okay, if it falls into this, it will get assigned to one group. Else, outside the group. Repeat interval you have to give daily. Okay, and repeat until if you want to define certain time till this till that time this schedule should work. So you can give, but we will keep it as is for now. And I will give this. Okay, the day times you have entered are not valid. Okay, and let's let's keep it this only. Okay not a problem so we'll give 9 to 15 okay and we'll be this save why not valid i will just reload this form out to see okay Nine M it will be zero nine. Let's give it this way. And over here fifteen. 
let's keep the date 24 because I think it's not thinking the future date okay and we will save it out now it got saved perfect repeat I think I missed this out repeat we have to do daily okay once so save now we have created schedule okay so in schedule we have we have not done anything special okay or anything rocket science we have just defined the schedule in which particular time frame we have to form now we will go to the change so I will mark this as favorite for now and we will go to the change record okay change request dot list change to okay and over here now what we have to do is like we will write a business rule right so I will do configure configure business rule so it should be based on the plan start date right so the first and the foremost thing what I will be doing is I will change assignment okay we will go for advanced condition when it should it should run before insert update okay what it should do so first and the foremost thing we need date right so variable plan start date will be equal to mm, we have to simply go here so we, here we will go for fields and the fields where is the plan started plan started plan started okay so this is how you can get this out okay so current dot start this shortcut just a tip okay then what we have to do is like variable schedule okay I will give it and let's make it GR schedule let's follow our own best practices and equal to equal to new glide new glide record what I am doing okay in glide record we will give cmn underscore schedule why because it's an entry for the parent schedule record okay then we will be doing gr Light schedule dot add query and inside add query we will we will be going with the name so I will call name not pain name and under name will pass the name which we have given to the parent schedule which is change schedule and then it will be gr Slide schedule dot query. Okay, I'm not pretty sure if you are able to see query. Then if gr schedule dot next, we know it has a record. But if and and it has if if it has multiple uh, schedule entries also, that's fine. It will check through all of them. Okay, and so what we have to do now? We got that particular schedule glide record right okay so we will be doing variable variable schedule equal to new glide schedule okay this is an API and this API we have to pass the sys ID of the parent schedule okay so it will be gr schedule dot get unique value perfect till now okay now we got this uh, thing and we also have the plan started but this plan started will be in string format right we have to convert it into glide date time format okay so how we can do that so we can do it via 
supply data image. So I will give variable class start date. Okay, equal to new glide date time. And in glide date time, we'll be passing this value, which is plan start date. Okay. Now this is done. Plan start date. Now we got the plan start. Now we have to check whether this particular plan start date falls inside the schedule or not. Okay. So how we can check that? So there is a method uh, for the same. So it's like if schedule dot there is a function called is in schedule okay is in schedule and it asks for one attribute which is the date okay the plan start date if it's in schedule then we'll give some message okay now what we will keep message as js dot add info message I will give it simply inside just to verify the things out inside schedule and else we'll give the same We'll set it to the assignment group once we get confirmed, okay? Because I have not tried it out. So I will give side schedule. Okay, this is done. Okay, so we will save it out now. And we will jump over here and we'll go to the quiz dot do. and I will unpin that out and over here now if this is a change form if I give a schedule currently it's 11 o'clock so it should be inside schedule only so if I save this out so it gave inside schedule so this criteria is working fine if I give it outside 3 p.m. after 3 p.m. right so I'll give 5 p.m. 5 will be oh, 12, 17, 17 p.m. Okay, it's outside 3 p.m. So it should give outside schedule. Perfect. It's working as expected. Now we will just get it assigned to the assignment group. So oh, we, will, we will have this. Okay. So this assignment group underscore list. Okay, I will just copy this out. Why? Because we want to find some groups. Okay, so I have already created some group. Okay, let's see if we can utilize this out. Okay, so I'll go over here and we will dot do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I have created two groups for the same in time support and outside out time support so I will just copy the sys ID of this so if this message and we can do um, what we can do current dot set value value for what assignment group and what should be the value for that if it's inside we'll give this and if it's outside okay then we will give the outside one as it's a before business rule so we don't have to give current dot update kind of thing okay just keep it in mind big 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 no for that okay so I just have to change the group this inside and now this is the outside one 
so i will update the ssid for this and then we can give it a try again perfect it got stored now i will reload the form where is the reload form now let's i think it's outside now let's make it inside first okay so i will make it 11 save so assignment group is empty right now okay and if i save this out did i save it out if i save this out then it's inside schedule and it get assigned to in time support group perfect right now if i move it outside okay so i will make it some 19 okay it's outside schedule and if i save this out now so it should get assigned to out time support group okay so if i sub save it the message is outside schedule and it got it got uh, set to outside out time support okay so from today's tutorial what we learned is like he, the schedule is not the thing which we just use during data imports and all that right okay you can use schedule to do daytime validation also specifically time validation we can say okay uh, you can also use it for daytime validation for example you want certain things if 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 uh, uh, certain records are getting created 8 to 5 over the working days and all those kind of thing okay their schedule is very important helpful okay you don't have to add a lot of logic for the same okay so we understand how the schedule works how we can use it to do the daytime validation we have looked into one use case where uh, we have defined a time frame for change request plan start date if it falls into that time frame then it will get assigned to one group if it falls outside that time frame then it will get assigned to another group okay if you have any queries on this particular tutorial uh, you can drop me a mail on my email id or you can reach out to me on my linkedin account i will try to get connected with you if you have still if you have any other queries okay so you can please drop comments okay over this video okay i will i will try to look into the comments and i will try to get it resolved okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you